Hello again everyone, welcome to another CSS tutorial. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to replace simple HTML text with a CSS background image. And you might be saying, why would I ever do that? Why wouldn't I just insert an IMG uh, image tag? Well, there are several reasons. Uh, search engine optimization reasons. Um, simple text is superior for search engines. Uh, also, accessibility reasons. Just semantics, it's just a good idea unless something is an actual photograph. I recommend uh, using a CSS background image if it's just adding style to the page. So enough rambling, let's get into it. Uh, the element that we want to replace is our heading level one up here. I've already created an image that I want to use for the replacement. It's a really ugly over the top image. It's just for the purposes of this tutorial. Um, so the first things first, uh, we want to know the dimensions, how how wide and how tall the image is. So we open it up in Firefox up here. Firefox is nice enough to tell us. So let's add our CSS. So we're going to target just the H1s inside the header. And first thing, we'll give it the background image. Go up a folder, then go into our images folder, and the name of the file is bgh1jpg. We don't want it to repeat. The width is 702 pixels. The height is 100 pixels. And now this is the line of code that is important. Um, text indent negative 9,999 pixels. And why we do that is because we're replacing this text with an image that has the text embedded in the image. So we don't want this text to also display. We want to hide it. And this is a good method to just shove it over to the left about 10,000 pixels. So we, re we save our code, we refresh, and there you have it. It's that easy. Um, let's imagine that we wanted this to be a link that you could click on. Uh, the code would be a little bit different. So I'm just adding a hyperlink in the HTML. And we refresh in Firefox and we notice that it's not a link yet. There's nothing to click. So we need to target the link with our, H our CSS. First thing, um, we need to tell the hyperlink to display to be a display block level element. And then we also want to go ahead and give it the same dimensions. And at this point, if you're you're creating a hyperlink, you could probably remove the dimensions from the heading level one. And there it is. So that wraps up today's tutorial. It was just a quick tip. Wanted to introduce you to CSS background image replacements. Hope you feel like you learned something, and thank you very much for watching.